We wanted to do X-ray diffraction with a robotic vehicle on Mars, and normally powder diffraction takes a lot of grinding, very fine-grained materials. It takes very precise movements and a big instrument. We can't do that on Mars, so what this powder movement system does is rather than moving the parts of the instrument to get a pattern, we move the powder itself. The very first time we did an analysis on Mars, we rewrote the book about the Mars soil. The second analysis we did, we identified the first habitable environment on Mars. And every time we, we analyze a sample, it's a, it's a brand new result that no one's ever seen before. This technology is really kind of revamped how we look at another planet and probably how we'll explore other solid bodies in the solar system. It's called a powder handling device, and, and what it does is it uses sonic vibrations in the order of about 2,000 hertz to vibrate a powdered sample uh, that allows you to move the sample and allows you to rotate grains, especially for X-ray diffraction, that's important. Normally for X-ray diffraction you need uh, 10 micron powder, and imagine the uh, uh, a human hair is about 150 microns, so that's really, really, it's like, it's like uh, face powder. This new technology, it allows us to look at essentially huge grains and get a really nice powder pattern, even though it's really grossly large for X-ray diffraction. One of the reasons why this is valuable is many samples you just can't prepare very well. For example, pharmaceuticals where they can't grind it up. Uh, either it'll destroy the structure or there's not enough material. So this allows you to use this as-received material and get a good powder pattern from it. Powder X-ray diffraction is, is the premier technique for identifying and characterizing crystalline materials. For example, Homeland Security, it's possible to analyze explosives in the field with this. Uh, for hazard analysis, if there's some white powder on the ground, uh, instead of closing a whole highway for a, for a long period of time, you can do an analysis in a matter of minutes and know what this is. In developing nations, a big problem is counterfeit pharmaceuticals. A technology like this allows you to analyze counterfeit pharmaceuticals in the field in real time to get those drugs out of the supply chain. It's also of interest for the oil and gas industry, for obviously for geology uh, and mining, so it has a wide variety of applications. This NASA technology and many others are ready to be transferred to your business. Find out more by visiting technology.nasa.gov.